Hey everyone, welcome to Cook with Brooke. In this episode, I'm gonna be making a carbonara dish. I wanted to share my experience of how I taught myself how to cook. I feel like a lot of people have anxieties or insecurities around food, and this is in part because people just don't know how to cook. I was once in that situation. The summer before I went into grad school, my mom bought a cookbook. It was Rachel Ray's 30 Minute Meals. Just something about that cookbook interests me and drew me in. When I went away to university for the first time, I really struggled with not knowing how to cook. We would eat chicken breasts cut up with scissors, sauteed in a frying pan with salad dressing. I think we ate that like every single night. It was just so boring, and sad, and pathetic of a meal. I just didn't have these basic adult life skills of learning how to cook and feed myself. I really felt like something was missing in my life. I started reading about Rachel Ray's recipes and then I would start watching her shows on television. By the time I went away to university for my master's program, I was living alone. I had my own place. Every morning I would watch a 30 minute meal. I'd watch her make it and then I would find the recipe online and then I would go to the store, buy all the ingredients, come home that night and make it step by step. And I just did that like for two solid years watched Rachel Ray, made all of her recipes, and just started building my skills that way. By watching her make these recipes, I was seeing techniques as to how to cook. I started to confidence in my skills, and before long I was finding more complicated things, things that I thought I would never be able to make in my life, and I just started following the same principles. And I would do some of these recipes over and over and over again. And after several years, I mean, I've been, I've been doing that for 10 years, basically, and I have cooked essentially almost every single day of my life since then. So I've developed this confidence in being able to make any dish. I would be like almost regimented where I would follow the recipe to a T because I wanted to like piece together the puzzle. After 10 years of doing it and having loads of confidence, I find a recipe and I think, oh, I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna change that. My approach and attitude towards cooking is a lot more relaxed now, but it took me a long time to get here. When I started making these Cook with Brooke videos, I started thinking back to when I first learned how to cook, what were the fears? What were the things that held me back? How did I really kind of overcome that obstacle of not knowing how to cook? I thought about Rachel Ray. I haven't really paid any attention to her for a long time. But I saw that she was a guest on a podcast called About the Plate. The second part was her making the carbonara dish. And I listened to her narrate step by step how to make the dish. She has like this sexy raspy voice. It's really cool, I love it. It just really like inspired me to make this dish. I used to make carbonara when I first moved to London when I was making like 18,000 pounds a year. It was like almost poverty line. I would have carbonara like every other day. It's a cheap, coal miners pasta. It's just bacon, eggs, and pasta. So I lived off of it. So I haven't really made it a lot since then, but I'm gonna make it today. So let's get started. First, you wanna put on a giant pot of water on high heat. While that's warming up, you wanna coat the bottom of a large frying pan with good olive oil, about four to five tablespoons. Put that on medium to medium low heat and let it warm up. While those two things are warming, you wanna quickly knock out the chopping. Finally, chop three to four cloves of garlic and a large handful of flat leaf parsley. Also, grate your cheese. Now, Rachel recommends using Parmigiano Reggiano and Pecorino Romano, but I'm just using Pecorino Romano here because that's apparently how the Romans make this dish. Next, you wanna chop up your pancetta. I couldn't find pancetta at the store so I bought these pre-chopped bacon lardons. Once the oil in the frying pan starts to ripple, put the bacon in the pan, add about one to two tablespoons of freshly cracked pepper, and just let it cook low and slow. When the water comes to a rapid boil, you want to salt it. This may look like a shocking amount of salt, but whenever you're cooking dried pasta, you want the water to taste like seawater. Make sure you taste it, and if the water tastes salty, then you're good. Drop in your pasta, give it a swirl, and put the timer on for about six minutes. You want to make sure your pasta still has bite to it, so check it often. When the pasta is ready to drain, grab a mug full of salty, starchy water and put it to the side. Then drain your pasta, make sure you don't rinse it, but just leave it off to the side. Next, you're going to mix your egg yolks with a fork. I used about six egg yolks here. Slowly add three quarters of a cup of the salted water. This prevents the heat from scrambling the eggs. You want to do this slowly and mix while you do. Once that's thoroughly mixed, add in your two handfuls of freshly grated cheese and whisk, whisk, whisk. Once all that is done, Add your chopped garlic to the frying pan and let that fry for about one minute. Then add in your pasta and you're just going to want to toss it and toss it and toss it until all the lovely delicious bacon fat and olive oil is fully incorporated with the pasta. And the final last step is you want to take the frying pan off the heat. I have a gas hob so I just turn the burner off and add the egg yolks and cheese mix. Now you want to toss this pasta for a solid minute. Put the timer on on the oven and toss, 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 toss. 
sauce will transform and it'll become like this velvet, creamy, delicious looking sauce. After a minute is up, add in the parsley and toss again until it's fully mixed. And then that's it. Just serve it up. And that's your spaghetti carbonara. Okay, so we're gonna taste the carbonara, right? This is usually how we eat dinner every night. <laughs> Sitting on the couch, watching TV. It looks and it smells delicious. That is fantastic. Really good carbonara. Really the best I've ever had. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. If you have any comments or questions or you have a recipe that you want me to make or find a good recipe for, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's a new video every week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.